When most people say they're ready to go into retirement after a long, hard career, they mean they're finally ready to settle down, chill out, and enjoy relaxing times in life that they might have missed out on. But when Nicki Minaj says she's retiring, she just means like, uh, maybe eventually? Hey everyone, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News, and Nicki Minaj is finally talking about what she meant when she said that she was going into retirement. It was only last month, but it seems like honestly a lifetime ago, that Nicki left us hanging with one tweet. On September the 5th, she said, I've decided to retire and have my family. I know you guys are happy now. To my fans, keep repping me, do it till the death of me, X in the box cause ain't nobody checking me. Love you for life. Well, the internet went crazy to say the least. She was in the middle of teasing new music and a promising new album that would follow up last year's Queen. One person tweeted at her saying, can you please just address this retirement thing? You never left us so hurt your entire career. We're just hurting, Nikki. To which Nikki replied, I'm still right here, still madly in love with you guys, and you know that. In hindsight, this should have been a Queen Radio discussion, and it will be. I promise you guys will be happy. No guests, just us talking about everything. The tweet was abrupt and insensitive. I apologize, babe. So despite Nikki's tweets, fans still had plenty of questions because Nikki continuously dropped features with other artists. Meanwhile, Nikki was hinting at a quick engagement to her fiance, Kenneth Zupetti. She said that she had a marriage license and that they would get married within 80 days. Nikki said, We got the marriage license, now I just have to wait until my pastor that I love comes and does it for us. The big wedding and all that stuff, that will happen, but just not at this moment. But now in an interview with The Shade Room, which was posted Sunday to Instagram, it looks like Nikki is going back on her word of having a big ceremony as well as kind of her retirement. In the interview, she said, We'll definitely do the paperwork portion of the marriage, but the actual wedding, I don't know. You know when you're a little girl, you want that big, beautiful wedding? The things that used to matter to me before don't matter as much. So it looks like they might be skipping the cocktail hour in lieu of a quick and easy marriage. And it sounds like that's mostly perhaps the groom-to-be's idea. Nikki goes on to say how they will do anything for each other because they're best friends first and foremost, and she says that they make sacrifices because they have so much love and respect for each other. I guess we'll see what happens from here the clock is ticking on those 80 days though so I'm sure we'll be seeing a Mrs Nicki Minaj slash Petty sooner rather than later whether she decides to have a big ceremony now a year from now or never the interview went on to Nikki talking about her retirement right away she said when I posted that retirement tweet I knew that I still had music that I already had recorded that was still gonna come out so the retirement was kind of talking about my album meaning like do I want to go back and record my fifth album? So far, Nikki has released Pink Friday in 2010, Pink Friday Roman Reloaded in 2011, The Pink Print in 2014, and Queen in 2018. Nikki said that she has had a fifth album in the works for some time, but now she's not even sure if we'll ever hear it, even if we do hear new music from Nikki. In the interview, she said that she has some features in the pipeline, but she's still uncertain about album number five. She said, I always get asked to do features, and I like features. So it sounds like to me that even if Nikki quote, retires for good, she'll still be featured on songs by other artists. We already know that she has a feature coming out with Ariana Grande and Normani called Bad To You for the upcoming Charlie's Angels movie. And she already has some ideas for who she would want to have featured on her fifth album if she decides on doing it after all. In the interview, she raised interest in rapper DaBaby, Gunna, as well as other surprises. Nikki said, where do I stand with it now? I didn't know my fans would act like that with the tweet. It hurt my feelings because I feel like the way I did it was maybe insensitive to my fans. But I didn't think people were gonna take it. I didn't know it was going to be that big of a deal. So that's why I deleted it. And speaking of collaborations, Nicki was supposed to have a song with Kanye called New Body. The song is supposedly on his upcoming album that is supposed to come out October 25th, Jesus is King. But Kanye has apparently reworked that whole album to make it more of a gospel album, which Nicki is unsure if her verse will stay on the song. That album was actually supposed to come out last month, but Kanye fans are still waiting for it to drop. But while that's happening, we'll be hoping and praying that Nicki does decide to release album number five. I think this interview was a good sign, if anything, that Nicki is definitely considering releasing a fifth album. But what do you guys think of all of this? Do you think Nicki will drop album number five? Do you think she's actually going to take some time off to start? a family or do you think we can expect to see her on tons more features going forward let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below
And while you're down there leaving comments, you guys, it is time to subscribe to Clever News if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button right there and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. And all the entertainment tea you missed, it's right over here. I'm Susan Warren. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll catch you later. Bye guys.